YouTube, how's it going? The Goat House is back with some more 2019 NFL record predictions. This one is for the Kansas City Chiefs, and we're going through every single team. We got through most of the teams. We just got the AFC West and the NFC West to do. Then we got playoff predictions, Super Bowl predictions, some of the other Goat House guys' predictions as well coming, NBA draft content. So a lot going on here at the Goat House. Uh, right before we get started, I'd like to break down the Chiefs a little bit. You know, at one point I'm thinking the Chiefs can take take a step down this year, still be a very good team, but take a step down because maybe teams are learning their offense. You know, the, last year was the first year they've seen that type of offense there in Kansas City. Um, and then Tyreek Hill, possibly, you know, we don't know what's going on exactly with him right now, but he could possibly be out. And then they trade their best pass rushers. So not really looking good, but obviously still a good team. But they do add guys like Tyron Matthew. And then they trade for Frank Clark. And Frank Clark's going to get some good pressure. And I know they're switching to a 4-3. And they actually, you know, the secondary I think should be better. The the linebacker unit I think should be better. In terms of quarterback pressure and sacks, maybe a step down. But you still get Frank Clark. And he definitely uh, could help out this team. So maybe... Maybe they won't take a step down. You know, I'm kind of back and forth on that. You know, will team the main thing is will teams, you know, figure out this offense. Sometimes teams' offense, you know, just get just people learn. People learn after game planning and game planning, and they they're able to slow it down. You know, I think Mahomes is still MVP caliber. Um, you know, I like their running back group, even though no Kareem Hunt, but it, didn't, it was not a problem last year. Receiver unit, yeah, no Tyree Kill, but I think Nicole Hardman could be that good replacement. Is he, is he going to be Tyree Kill? No, but he's going to make a huge impact. He's going to be solid. The offensive line was solid last year. I think it can continue to be that way, and we kind of broke down the defense already. So right before we get started, the game-by-game game prediction, 20K is our subscriber goal. We're almost there thanks to the great support. Uh, we have daily sports videos every single day, and then clicking that like button and checking out our Twitter where we have polls and answer questions on there. Uh, much, all much appreciated. On to the Chiefs. Week one against the Jags. Maybe the Jags can give them a good test. Nick Foles in there in a, in a very solid defense. Uh, but I'll, I'll take the Chiefs in week one. Um, could go either way, though. I'll take the Chiefs, even though the Jags defense is solid. I, it's just it's kind of hard to stop the Chiefs. You know, you could slow them down a little bit, uh, but I'll take the Chiefs. In Oakland, week two, I'm actually going with the Raiders here. You know, I, I think the Raiders, I think it's a shootout, and I think the Raiders win the shootout, obviously. Um, just a, just a feeling there in week two. In week three, the Ravens, Chiefs, that was a great game last year. You know, I expect the Ravens to be somewhat similar, even though they lost some defensive guys. Uh, and, and that's tough. It's a tough game. I'm going to stick with my original pick. I think home field advantage matters here. I'll take the Chiefs. In Detroit, I like the Chiefs, yeah. I, I don't think it's a good matchup for the Lions there. The Chiefs are going to score on them regardless. The Lions could put up some points, but I don't think they can keep up. Colts at the Chiefs, um, yeah, I'm going to take the I'm gonna take the Chiefs. You know, that playoff game was rough last year. Doesn't mean it's going to be the same this year, but in Kansas City again, uh, yeah, I just think they're, they're going to be too hard to stop for them, but definitely possible for the Colts to win that game. Against the Texans, I think it's a similar situation. I think it can be a shootout once again, but I just the Chiefs win the shootout. Uh, in Denver, I like the Broncos grabbing this one. It's Thursday night football. The Broncos defense can win them some games this year. And are they going to stop them? No, but then they can slow them down just enough. And the Broncos could struggle to score at times this year with their offense, you know, depending on Flacco, but they'll put up some points in this game. Uh, home against the Packers, another one that will probably be a sh- Okay, something I noticed here. Not that tough of a draw here in terms of the schedule, because you look you look at the tough games, you know the teams that re- the games that can go either way. You look at the Ravens and the Chiefs, it's at Kansas City. You look at the Colts, it's at Kansas City. You look at the Texans, it's at Kansas City. You look at the Packers at Kansas City. And then the Vikings will get to at Kansas City. Um, really, the only one, I mean, they're they're away against the Titans, which could be tough depending on their health. Away against the Patriots, and they're away against the Bears, but they're already getting off to a good start because they're home in these games. Yeah, I like them against the Vikings. Vikings got a really good defense, but again, I don't. You've seen them struggle with the Rams last year. I think they'll struggle with the Chiefs. They haven't really seen an offense like that, so uh, take the Chiefs there. You know, I think this is a good draw for them in terms of the schedule against the Titans. You know, the Titans defense could be good and could win them some games, but I, I I don't know if I don't know if they can slow down the Chiefs here. I'll take the Chiefs, eight and two at this point. I do like the Chargers. The Chargers matched up very well with them last year. I think they can do it again this year in Mexico, though. So. Maybe that changes any kind of factors, but 
Uh, I like the Chargers, and they will not get swept by the Raiders, especially after the bye week. Chiefs Patriots probably the toughest one here. Um, that that's tough. Uh, I pick I did the Patriots video and I picked the Chiefs, but that was the first video I did. I'm kind of leaning towards the other way now. You know, I think they both can score a lot. Seemed like the Patriots defense got better. You know, I mean, at the same time, you see, looking, watching it, it looked like it got better, but they did lose Trey Flowers. But um, I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of leaning towards the Patriots here at home. You know, I'm kind of switching my pick there. Uh, they won't get swept by the Broncos. They'll get this one. The Bears, you know, the Bears just won so many games with their defense last year with turnovers. You know, I, I think they won't really be able to do that in this game. I, you know, I think the, the cheat, one of those situations where yeah, they can slow them down, but. Um, you know, the Bears offense is going to have to really get going, and they're, they're capable. Trubisky has to really step up, but I like the Chiefs for matchup reasons in that one. Uh, the Chargers at the Chiefs, I'm actually go, I'm going with the Chargers sweep. You know, the Chiefs doing real good this year. I have them doing real well, but uh, Chargers, I just don't like that matchup for them because they can score on them. They can slow them down. They're maybe the most complete team in football, but the Chargers have their weaknesses too, you know, being inconsistent. So does that mean they can – you know, do this to every team they play over the year. We still got to get to their video. Um, so 11-5 and five is where I got them. They could have their moments, you know, against some tough defenses. Uh, but, you know, for the most, car- most part, definitely a contender. That That's for sure. So we'll see where I have them going once we get to the playoffs. Um, and we'll see what's going on with Tyreek Hill's situation. I expect him not to play. And it's going to be interesting to see the defense. Switching to a 4-3 like that, didn't really agree with it. But then Frank Clark definitely fits. The secondary could be better, uh, even though not all ton better so we will see and again this is our first video of the AFC West we got three more teams to do then we got four teams in the NFC West and then as I'm finishing these divisions I have a poll release on our Twitter where you guys vote who will win each division so uh, much appreciate if you check out the Twitter plenty of videos on the channel plenty more to come thanks for everyone's support thanks for watching this video goodbye